Hello everyone, today I'm going to cover how you can build and compile a APK game for your MetaQuest 3 working on the newest version of Unreal Engine, which is uh, the 5.5.1. And I'm going to show you how you can do this and get it working on your Quest 3. If we take a look at this website by meta.com, you can see that um, since 2023, all MetaQuest apps are required to target Android 12L meaning a Android API level of 32 is required, so it works on your headset. It also states that uh, if you want your game to be compatible with the Quest 1, you can still use an API level of 29, but for the Meta Quest 3 and Quest 2, it requires a API version of 32. So first up, if you want to install a proper Unreal Engine version that works with your Quest 3, you have to uh, get the newest version. You can also take any other version that is below 5.4. So everything with 5 dot uh, works at this point, but I recommend using the newest version. And you have to make sure that in the options of your installation, you have on the platforms Android selected. This will make you download another few gigabytes of stuff, but this is needed in order to work. At first, I would highly recommend you to try if you can connect your Quest 3 to your PC and use it in a Unreal Engine project. So you can just go ahead and create a new game with the virtual reality template and uh, create one of this and then try to connect your headset. If you don't yet have the MetaQuest Link app installed on your PC, I would recommend you to download this. This is necessary if you want to work with your Quest connected to your PC. So just go ahead to the official Meta website and download MetaQuest Link. Next up, open the MetaQuest Link app on your PC and connect your headset uh, via a USB cable to your PC. Once you have your headset connected to MetaQuest Link and you have accepted the prompt that pops up in the headset, you can try to play the level in the VR preview. If it doesn't show up right away, uh, you need to restart your launcher and then it should work. So I only have my right controller connected right now, but this works and I can move as I want to. I can grab things and shoot around and drop things. Um, so this works fine and with this you can make sure that you can work with the project later on But for now, we're just going to take this level and export it so we can compile it and put it on the quest 3 So we don't need the connection to our PC any longer in order to be able to compile APK apps for the meta quest 3 we need to download some extra software Otherwise, we will not be able to compile this game for the meta quest 3 so first up, you're going to go to this official documentation website by Epic Games. I can put a link down in the description, just check it out. And you need to immediately go to the left hand corner and select the newest version of Unreal Engine, which is 5.5. Then you're going to add to the filter option and you'll type in Android SDK. And then an article named Setting up Android SDK and NDK should pop up. And on this article, you will find the required versions of software that you have to download. The only two things you will need for this are the Android Studio version and the Java Runtime version. You have to keep in mind that what's written here is solely standing for what Android apps need to be built. But the MetaQuest, although working with Android, does not have the same required versions of everything. It has different versions. I'm going to cover what you need to take care of and what you need to look out for. So after looking at what we need to download, you're going to head to the Android Archive download. Since we have to download the version of Android Studio that we need for compiling the game. First, you have to accept the license and then a lot of versions will show up. And on the website we just looked at, it says that we need Koala 24.1.2, published August 29th, 2024. So this is the version we want to find on the archive. Again, I'm going to put the link for this in the description. Luckily, it's right on the top, so we can just download uh, the Windows 64-bit version. I already have Android Studio installed, so I'm not going to uninstall this. But 
just for the first steps, keep all paths as they are in here. Don't change anything. It will make it easier for you to find it later on in this video since we need to link some paths in Unreal Engine. Uh, and when you're done with the installer, we're going to head to the next step. So if you have Android Studio installed, it should say that it's the Koala Feature Drop 2024.1.2. And first thing you're going to do is click on More Actions and then on SDK Manager. And now I'm going to show you which versions of everything you need to have it working with your Unreal Engine and MetaQuest 3. On the MetaQuest website, it was written that you'll need the Android 12L version with a API level of 32. So under SDK platforms, you should install this and only this one. You don't click anything down here. You go to the SDK tools next and under Android SDK build tools, if it's not showing anything for you, make sure you press show package details. You will download d 34.0.0. We can scroll down a little. Under NDK side by side, you will need to download the 25.1.8. And this and only this version. I cannot exactly explain why you need this version. This is just something I saw in a different YouTube tutorial. I can link this in the, in the description. Um, the person in that video said that this was the correct working version and it's true, it does work, but I cannot tell you why it is like that. We can scroll down a little further. Under Android SDK command line tools, you just um, look for the latest one, 17.0. Under CMake, you'll take the 3.10.2 version. And then also make sure that you have the Android emulator installed the Android SDK platform tools and for some reason you also need the Google USB driver but I don't think this is necessary. So when you're done with selecting all of these you can hit apply and then okay and then it will download uh, all the tools you have selected for you. So after this we can now close Android Studio, we don't need this any longer. And now we need to download Java. So if we take a look at uh, what it says on the web page, it says that we need OpenJDK 17.0. And for that, we'll head to the Java archive downloads. I'll put the link in the description again, and you'll look for this exact uh, yeah, version that it said on the website. And then you head down and install the Windows 64 installer. When installing this, just again, make sure that you don't change the pathways of anything and you don't even need to do anything else after installing this. So after installing these two softwares, you can close up Unreal Engine and open it again. So back in Unreal Engine, we now need to change some project settings. And the first one we are going to cover is for the hardware settings. On the project, head over to targeted hardware and Right here, you can optimize your project settings for. And I would recommend you to select mobile and then scalable. This apparently um, disables some features by default um, based on what your hardware can do to save performance, which I would highly recommend you doing since uh, using a VR headset requires good performance. Otherwise, it, you will get dizzy and it just wouldn't be fun. And you can restart your editor after doing this. When you're back in Unreal Engine, you can head over to supported platforms, also in the project category, and you can turn everything off except Android and Windows. Again, Android is the platform you need to build the APK that you want to put on your MetaQuest 3. Then you will now head over to platforms and to Android. And right here, you first need to click this configure now button. When it goes green, then you're good to go and then you will head over to the minimum SDK and target SDK versions. So like I said at the beginning of the video, the minimum SDK version, you could set this to 29 to make it compatible with the Quest 1. I have not tried this since I do not own a Quest 1, but it should work. Your target SDK version must be set to 32 though, so it works for the Meta Quest 3 and 2. Also very important, package game data inside APK is a button you must press. If you don't press this, your game files will be stored in separate folders, but you want everything to be stored inside the APK so you can easily transfer it over to your headset and install it there. You can now scroll down in this tab so you get to Google Play services and just press configure now on this button as well. Next up, 
Under platforms, you will click on Android SDK and it will take you to this page. This already contains the pathways of every software we downloaded, but I'm going to show you how you can find these. So, in order to find your Android SDK version, you can easily just start up Android Studio, the version you just downloaded. And if you go to More Actions SDK Manager, it will show the location of this right on the top. You can just copy this and paste it on the location of Android SDK. In order to find the Android NDK, you open up your Explorer and paste the link you have just copied in here. Then you click on the NDK folder and you press on the version that you installed. And this is the pathway we need for the next one. So just copy this path and paste it in Unreal Engine. Lastly, to find the location of your Java, open up your Explorer again. And you just head to your system drive to program files and then it says Java. And right here, you just open the JDK 17 folder and this is the location you want. You copy the pathway and you paste it in Unreal Engine. So next up, your NDK API level must be set to Android 32. You have to put it in exactly how I have written this here. And on SDK API level, you can just write match NDK. So it matches the Android 32 version. So, and this is all that's required in your project settings. You can now just go ahead and change the default um, description settings in your game if you want to export it at some point. Um, so just put your description in here, your company name and everything. I'm not going to do this now. You can then close your project settings and go to the platforms tab up here. And first up, I would recommend to press refresh platform status. And then you can easily go ahead to Android. If there's a uh, exclamation sign like here, then you still have some problems. You should probably check if your settings are right and if you have downloaded the correct software. But if it shows the green Android symbol, then you're good to go. And you here have some more options um, that you can choose for exporting your game. Um, always, I would recommend using the Android ASTC uh, flavor selection. Um, I have not tried the other ones, but this one just works fine. And under the binary configuration, you have to set it to shipping if you want to just export it and then compile it for your headset. Uh, you could also later on use debug game. This will enable you to use some um, commands in Unreal Engine that it will show on your headset, even if the project is compiled and working on your headset. Um, but to save space and when your project is done, you will select shipping. And then after that, you can press package project and then it will render the project. You then just need to select a path where it should store the game. I'm just going to create this folder and then in here it can save the game data for me. So my build was successful. It says right here, uh, the game is now uh, compiled and rendered. And if we head over to the folder we saved this in, you can see that uh, it created a folder called Android ASTC. And in here you have a couple files. The only files you're interested in are the APK files, and there's two of them. Uh, one is called new tests, uh, just how the project is named, and it's quite big. And then there's an AFS one, uh, which is not that big. Also, it gives you a batch file, which apparently installs uh, your project. But again, this is not working for your Quest 3. I have tried this multiple times, it does not work. I think this is only working for mobile devices that um, work with Android. So the only thing you're really interested in is the, uh, the big APK file um, without the AFS at the front. And this one you can just copy uh, or leave it here. And in order to get this on your Quest 3, you now need to install the app SideQuest. And also getting SideQuest is not that hard. You just um, go to sidequestvr.com and you go to get SideQuest and then you can install the advanced installer. And then after installing the advanced installer, you can just go ahead and open up the app. And then um, you either still have your headset connected and, it, um, re and the software realizes this and uh, says that your Quest is connected, or you have to do the connection again, which just means um, plug out your USB, plug it in again into your PC and press on uh, activate link or whatever pop-up shows up on your headset and then it should work. And the last step you now have to do is press install APK file from folder on computer. And then you just head to the location where you have saved the APK file. 
and then make sure that you select the right APK version, which is this one, it's a big one, and then you press open. And if you click on this little pop-up here, it will tell you um, the process and the progress. If this takes longer than two or three or four minutes, depending on your hardware, um, it, you should realize that there's a problem. This process usually doesn't even take a minute for me, but maybe depending on your hardware, it could take a little longer. Um, but if it takes too long, then there's probably something wrong. So for me, it took now a minute and a half and it said APK, APK installed OK. So you can now disconnect your headset from your PC and you should find it easily on your headset. So for the last step, I'm going to show you how you can find the app on your Quest 3. And for that, you just need to head over to your library and then you go onto the filter on top and you select unknown sources. And under unknown sources, it should pop up the game that you have just made, which is the new test uh, that I recently created. And then you can just click on it and then it should open up Unreal Engine and everything you need um, to be able to play your game. So now we are in the game that we have just um, ex uh, exported to our headset and it works fine without a PC connected. So you did it. You compiled a game for your MetaQuest 3 using Unreal Engine 5, the newest version available. Thank you for watching and have fun doing this. See ya.